Here's how to make the battery last longer on your iPhone. Now, people will tell you to turn down the screen brightness or turn off Bluetooth and close your apps and turn off notifications, but if you really want to not have to compromise and make your battery last longer, you're going to have to replace it. Now, don't turn off the video yet because it's, it's really simple to do and it's really cheap. So this is a 2680 milliamp hour battery in the, and the one that comes with it is about 1500 something. So this is 40% more power and it fits in there just like the standard battery would. This costs six bucks on eBay or Amazon and then I, they sell an optional repair kit that costs another six bucks. So let's say you don't feel comfortable taking your phone apart. That's fine. You can to get this battery and go to the guy in the mall that does iPhone repair and you can probably pay him 20 bucks because you brought your own battery to put the battery in and then you'll have 40% more battery life. For those of you who do want to do it yourself, I'm going to show you how to do it here. So you just unscrew this screw and this screw. So I'm using the thumb loop in the suction cup to pull this thing up. Get it loose. To reveal... Oh. So depending on what kind of phone you have, it's going to be different. So I'd recommend watching the specific one for the specific phone that you're using. An iPhone 5S has the fingerprint sensor, so you don't want to bend the screen more than this because you have to take this cable out. On an iPhone regular 5, you can just open it never more than 90 degrees. You'll damage the screen, but just open it up like a, like a hood and then take the battery out and replace it. Pop this little clip off to release this cable that, that handles the home button and then open it up. So we just want to unscrew these two screws and then kind of the battery stuck on here with sticky tape so kind of gently pry it up, throw it away, put the new battery in here, plug it in there and then we're good. And that unplugs the battery right there. Just pry up on this little deal. Now they use some extra sticky, sticky stuff so be real careful not to damage any of the electronics when you do this. I'm using my old Swiss Army knife to bust it loose here. Gently, slowly, crunch. There we go. Bye bye. Thanks for playing. We got our fashionable gold battery. It's a shame it's on the inside of the phone, so no one can see that I have a gold battery. But we throw it in here. It's in there, looking pretty. And then we just snap the connector back on. We bolt down this little metal bracket. Plug this little guy back in where it came from using the little clamp. So there was a little clamp. This little clamp that I pried off goes right on top of there to hold this in place. And then we just put these two screws in and we done. I couldn't get my big fat man fingers in here so if you know somebody with small fingers you can have them help or what I did was kind of float it over the right place with this and then just pushed it down and it snapped into place. And then to seal the phone up you push the top part of it forwards and down so it's flush with the top and then you just kind of press the glass down put your two screws in and you're done simple so it's been on standby for 14 hours and 19 minutes and it, I used it for 4 hours 33 minutes shooting some videos playing Angry Birds Facebook, everything else, uh, I'm still at 24%, so that's better than it was. And you can see I've got a ton of apps open. So I've been running it just, just uh, to the max today, and that's what we're looking at. So great success, and also it didn't explode when I charged it last night. So putting a more powerful battery in your phone won't blow it up or cause any trouble, and you will get more usage out of it. There you go.